Hi everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube, and we are in the game The Infected, and this is now episode 30. Well, I have a lot of stuff to do to this base, <clears throat> considering that this was how I started in this tiny little room. Um, I have laid down some white ghost images um, of extra bits and pieces I want to upgrade. Now, I've already started upgrading a whole bunch of stuff, so I started making some more dry bricks. So I've only just started. I've got that one full, I think, and that one's just started. These guys, I started making all the fencing fragments. So this is full, this is full, I think, oops. I think these guys, no, that one's full. Okay, that's the one I need to get to next. This thing's just been absolutely flying along. This is the best way to make fragments, without a doubt. Um, so, you know, with these four um, working away, getting, uh, extracting just stone, basically, it's just been a dream. It's been flying along. Um, now, I was trying to fill up as much of this as possible. I had to build a couple more shelves over here. Um, and the reason being was because I've kind of decided to go a bit nuts with the power. Just just to see how far we can extend this. The whole base needs a massive, massive upgrade. It needs extensions, and we haven't even done any glass yet. Like, there's just so much stuff we can do. Um, the power is now looking not bad. Um, I'm sitting on something like 54 wind turbines. So we get 1,080 permanent power, so this is at night time. Um, yeah, there is a bit of solar power, but I'm not depending on that. So at the moment I've got about 280 spare power. Um, I need a lot more. Um, I'm predicting that I might go as high as 100 wind turbines producing 2,000 power yet. So I started to fill in <coughs> some of these so I can start to store different types of food. I've got my tin cans at the bottom, some fruit salad, veggie salad. I just chewed through a fair few. Um, and this is the reason why the power needs to go up. I decided to make a whole bunch of fridges. I could make one or two more. Um, all totally dependent on that permanent power, but that's, that's the aim. Um, I don't need it right yet because I've got um, different types of meat uh, fish meat, chicken meat, normal raw meat. There was liver in there, but I I had used it. Um, go up a bit closer here. So I've been using a few of the onion soups, a couple so far. I've got a couple of eggs in here, potato pies, meat stew. I've got a few things, which isn't too bad. Um, but I want to be able to stretch those out. I mean, if you've got the power, you might as well just have a dedicated fridge for each one, each food type dedicated fridge for eggs and so on. So, <coughs> that's all looking pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in the throat. So, the clothes hangers. Um, this is another section. I'm thinking I could have a few more, actually, and then just put one, one or two for winter, one or two for summer, one or two for armour, perhaps. So, that, that could do with an upgrade. Um, so on the roof now, um, I did go out and ex grab a bit more from the mines. So my gut feeling is I can put another row right up through the middle of this one, leave this one as it is because it's the path to the door out, but then there'll be a second one, a third one, and a fourth one once I've finished off these. So there's potentially, they're ten long. There's another 40 on top of adding this 6, would bring it from 54 to 60, and then another 40 would be 100. Freaks me out whenever Mike goes in and out of doors, you wonder what the heck's going on. But, the one thing I really want to do today, look at this dude, he's sneaking around. Um, I want to be able to go in and out of the base, but not on this side. Come on, dude. I know, you need it. <laughs> What's he gonna give me? Something useless? Or perhaps nothing? What the crap? Mike's on top of my roof. He was, <laughs> oh, that's where I just was. Anyway. Um, yeah, oh, look, this truck 
doesn't go well down here because it's on it's just a really bad way of getting in and out right so I've decided that I would like to take this whole butchers area all these tables need to be on a really nice sort of area out here which isn't too far from the kitchen upstairs where all the you know plants are growing and so on so this to me just here is actually ideal um, and then I can kind of change the shape, not so box-like, put up glass windows, you know, just do some fancy stuff. So that's the plan. But, in doing that, the truck doesn't go there then. So the truck needs to... Hey, g'day Mike, how you going? Okay. Um, and so the truck comes in on this side, right? But this is all flat, so I could build a garage maybe around the back here? Because then the truck can come in... I mean, I think it'll just come in and just turn the corner, go into the garage, and then when you back out, you just kind of back back like this and take off, right? The only problem is, if I take off down here, I need some other way of getting over to the road. So, I put in ghost images... <coughs> excuse me... of a bridge. But it's got to be built yet. So this is the idea, is that as long as this end of the bridge is in the ground the truck I don't think should have any problem getting onto it and the same the other end it's just low enough to touch the ground um, but I probably will need in this episode to try to build the bridge right I want to build the bridge and then maybe make it three wide so that the truck has no problems getting in and out and possibly just have a gate at the other end um, I've got like so much work to do in terms of defences too which is kind of cool and that's why I'm starting to ramp up the um, iron fragment production and the ingots because it's going to cost a lot in terms of those resources to make all the all the protective fences and so on so anyway that's what we're doing today trying to get through as much of this as possible so let's get started I have to grab one of my wagons here Oi. You know where to hide, don't you? Oi. I did, by the way, um, grab another couple of butcher's tables here because I just kept finding more and more of these deer around. So now I've got one bear and three deer. I think I cut up all the... Um, what did I have? I had raccoons, that's what it was. All sitting there. This will give Mike something to do. There he goes, he's all of a sudden triggered. Hey, he's taking all the logs I got. Damn right. Uh, he is such a help when it comes to that. Let's grab as many of these planks as I can. With Mike doing that though, this it goes a lot quicker. Let's speed this up. Whoops. It's still going to be very resource intensive, I'm sure. Get all this done. Oops, fall off. Not sure whether you really need to. Oh, you could upgrade it to brick, I suppose. It's just less damage. <coughs> To the gear, I suppose. He is so quick at bringing those in, eh? And then I'll have to, um, whoops. Oh. Yeah, it's not E E E E, it's right click, right click, right click. Alright. Oh, I don't think I'd used up all the planks, eh? Alright, now can we do this without falling off? Because that would be funny. Alright. I don't think I, um... I don't think I put all... whoops, what the crap? Uh... Now now, for my next magic trick, I will go under the card and inspect the axles. No. What happened to my cart, dudes? Wow. It really was a magic trick. Alright. So keep going. 
I reckon it'll look pretty cool. But just give me... Oh, don't fall off. Jeez. Doing it too quick, Trev. Look at that. We're almost halfway, I think, already. Wow. Okay. Just, um, yeah, just a decent way. Just a decent way of getting in and out, basically. Oh. Man, you're quick, Mike. Let's just redo this. So it's got... Oops. So it's got the timber in it. Actually, it's a pity that uh, Mike doesn't do this as well. Actually, it'd be funny if Mike actually spoke to you and went, oh, damn it, I just finished that. I just put it back, I just filled it, and now you've taken it away again. He doesn't do that. Mike's a good guy. He doesn't whinge. Doesn't complain about holiday pay or pay increases. Do you, Mike? Well, whoops, not that again. I'm getting them mixed up. Alright. <coughs> yeah, I kind of don't go... Well, I'd, yeah, I haven't been walking all the way along the whole bridge because I can't. You kind of want to do it like this but not fall off. Want enough room to walk along, I guess. I'm half expecting some bunch of annoying guys, you know, to show up. Gee, it doesn't take much. Feels like I'm walking a long way now. Oh, one more. Yeah, I. Oops. I reckon. Um. This one now. Can I reach the other one? No, can't. Uh, yeah, I, 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 reckon, I reckon it has to be three wide for that to work. For the truck, you know, to feel comfortable. Sorry, Mike. Coming through, dude. Stop doing the e e e e e e e on it, Trev. I thought he was almost through. Jeez, whiz. didn't take long. I mean, if I really got stuck, I could go back to the other guy, meaning the other circular saw I'm talking about. All right, that's pretty good. So it's a bit of a lengthy process, but I think that will be good when it's done. I think one of the things I was mostly worried about was knowing whether um, the truck will go on and off properly. And I think, I've been looking at it for a while, I'm thinking to myself, I think it'll be right as long as it, um, oh man, just wait till I get this done. No, not that. Oh, stop the blinking. You guys, look. Will you stop damaging stuff? Well, there's two of them. Oh, why is it not surprising that they want some help with their medical issues? Look. Let me see what that gave me. Did that give me anything? Oh, yeah. Biofuel. Medicated bandages. Look at him, look at him, just sitting there, doing nothing. This should be good. Oh, I think that's two electrical parts. It's not bad, I suppose. Alright, continue. Rudely interrupted. So only got a few more to go. Oh, I'll have to cut down some of these trees too, they're going to be in the way. Um, I'm thinking of adding an addition to the back of the base here. Kind of over the top of those rocks as well. Like, really all I've managed to do so far is get this big box in place that has created some infrastructure. That That's all I've done. I haven't really 
added much to it that makes it look cool at all. So I want to be able to do that. Hey, I wonder if Mike's out of food. Oh no, there he is. Sorry, dude. Didn't see you coming there. I don't think I hurt his feelings at all. Alright, let's fill up again. Hey, I remembered. Amazing truth. I think this will go reasonably close to finishing it. Like I, I don't. I would like to be able to test this, but I don't think I can. I don't think it's wide enough for the truck. You know what I'll do? End up in the in the drink. <laughs> okay. Keep it going. Yeah, it'll be one more trip, and we'll get that finished. I tried to take it as close as I could. So what's that? One, two, three. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's very close. Whoops. Don't want to fall off. Do another magic trick. Alrighty. I'll be able to get all this. At least I can, well, minimum I can walk across it. It's kind of amazing when you think just how much help might can be to you just to, to get the logs. Oops. Tell you what I might have to do is just have a quick look to see whether he needs food. Uh, how much have I got in the way of planks on me? Quite a lot. I might have to put some of this stuff back. Oops. Oh no, he's still going. I might do that anyway. Let's just put away the biofuel um, and the electrical parts. Still a plank there, Drew. Uh, it shouldn't make too much difference though if I just grab a. Oops, where am I going? Grab some food for Mike. Oh, by the way, I did add a whole row of onions and potatoes here because of extra um, requirements. Put it that way. Um, those recipes do need, uh, the higher end recipes that is, um, certainly need a fair few onions and potatoes, so I just went, you know what, I just need to do it. Add in a whole nother row, it's reasonably expensive to do it, but I think in the end it's worth it. Uh, I wonder if I can fit this in. Actually, to tell you the truth, maybe I need to grab something. Uh, I might eat both of those, and then I'll give Mike the pumpkin. There you go. That's all done. Go off here like I normally do. Where is he? He's down here. Yeah, it certainly doesn't hurt having to jump that far. Oh, he had food, but yeah, not n not a great deal, hey? I think that'll work for me. What, what am I looking like? That. Okay. It's raining again. Alright, so where was I up to? I just had to fill up more boards. Cool. And then we should go close to finishing off at least a one width bridge right to the end. How's that? That will be good. I mean, the biggest thing is this whole... Oh, he just, he's just there. Wow. Yeah, I wonder how that works. He must have a kind of a s certain ring distance, a sort of perimeter that he extends out to for cutting down. Alright, I just need another four logs, and I've got two. Hey, Mike! You want to throw them up here, dude? No, it doesn't matter. We'll grab two more. Oh, I can just fill it up again, I think. Because I'll just come back and just do one on the side. It'll be all good. Until bozo heads show up again. He's probably 
thinking, man, I haven't been cutting down trees much lately. It's going nuts. Fill this guy back up, because it's, yeah, it, it's overdue. Man, go and do something else for a while, Michael. He just threw them in there. Michael be going, man, oh man. Had all this done. Oops, put them back. Do I have planks? I think I, I filled up, didn't I? Oop, no, don't do that again. No, I didn't. How's that? Well, I checked. Alright, so this is only needs the two logs, but I can do a few more of the... He's quick to get around, isn't he? He's, next minute he's at the base and next he's over at the whoop whoop. Okay. So see how I'm just hoping that's if you have a look you can see it kinda goes uphill there, still sits on a bit of a lean. I wonder if I just need one more foundation here. I think I might do that. Oh, I don't think, I'm just curious whether, whoops, I'm just wondering whether it is actually, whoops, wrong tool, um, I'm wondering whether it's just this tree, um, I have to just throw these over here for a sec. Is it that? Or does it not want to go into the ground? That's the big question. Yeah, look at that. Hang on. Hang on a second. No, I think it's got a problem going into the ground. I wonder... Yeah, it doesn't like that, does it? Um, okay, it wants to put it there, but not... Okay, hang on a second, it does seem to vary a bit. Nah, as soon as I put it next to it, it wants to do that. Okay. It's okay there. Okay, I'm going to do these, do that. I think that just needs the tree out of the way. Well, I definitely need to put them here. But, let's see what happens if I cut down this tree. It might be okay, that little bump there might not be a big deal. I'll just use these here, I suppose. Oops. Actually, if if I upgrade to brick, it won't probably won't make any difference, will it? Uh, where are we going to put them? Hang on, let's drop these here for a sec. Let's try doing the old. Pick these up again. Just need one more in there. As I'm walking over it, there's a little bit of a bump here. Maybe it won't affect the truck. Although it does dip away on this side, doesn't it? I don't think I want to come closer on this side, going over. I think... Yeah, I think that would work better. Hmm... Yeah. Uh... I think I'll cut these trees down, add a little bit along the side. At least that's a good start. Maybe off camera I'll finish the blinking thing. Um, so we'll put. Can we jump up here? Can jump up here. That one can go there. 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 Then it gets stopped, which is fair enough. At least the side ones, when you've got lots of planks in your inventory, they can go in pretty quick. Uh, I'll tell you what, I shouldn't really 
take them from there. Now I should really. Oops, I might put them into this one so they don't get stuck underneath. Can I get them? I can. There you go. Okay, I'll we'll drop. Why do I keep picking up my pickaxe instead of my? I don't know why I do that. <coughs> All right. So pick up the ones that are gonna fall down. Oh, okay, we've got enough. Can I do that while I'm hot? I can. Oh, there you go. Oh, do I need more planks already? Wow, that was quick. Although, yeah, I suppose I did do a fair bit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, um, yeah. Alright. So... Uh, this is just going to need more logs, isn't it? So, that's done. <laughs> now we're the other way around. That's got logs in it. But you can't carry more logs at a time, hey? Is that a bird? That was a bird. Let's grab this if we're going back home. Yeah, see, two feels two feels way more comfortable when you're doing stuff like that, though. All right, how you going there, Mike? <coughs> He's a still cutting. He's such a good worker. Till he comes back and sees me do this. Oops, sorry. It's amazing how he runs around everywhere as well, hey? He takes his job seriously. Alright, throw those in there. We'll pick up a whole stack of these again. Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on, are they... Oh, I probably won't be affected by that. Yeah, I don't really care about carrying them, I've got so many of them, it's not funny. I can't carry any more anyway, but... Yeah! Oop. Yeah, it's a pretty big construction thing, isn't it, really? Oh, it was many planks for these, hey? Probably got half a dozen of these guys to go. Three, four, five, six. No, we've got eight. Okay. At least it gets easier when you're going back because you've got less distance, I suppose. I really went too far. Okay. Well, I'm right on the edge there. If we don't fall off. Damn chicken! What is it? No matter what game I play, I have problems with birds. And end up with a bird phobia soon. See, that's why it's so cool to have that fridge. Be able to throw the extra eggs in and whatnot. Not that I kind of get infected all that often, but... Alrighty, where are you? Show me your martial arts. Were you the only one? You gave me rope. Really? I don't want rope. Okay, uh, let's make sure we've filled up with these again. <coughs> Hang on, that's not running, is it? Oh man, really? She ran out of... Oops, ran out of logs. Come on, Mike, you're getting behind here a bit, dude. Although, that's the reason why I had so many of these built. So I can do... Oh, unless the trees are getting further away. That could be the reason why. Thanks, Mike! Alrighty. Oh, what the crap? He's using the bridge. Yeah, what does this 
thing you need. Uh, uh. A few more of these, a few more of them. Where you going, Mike? What? What? Why didn't he come back with um? I don't know what he why <laughs> it's a bit confusing what his uh, strategy was there. Hmm, chicken. Wonder if I can test it with just a two wide bridge possibly, hey. Alright. Have to have a think about whether I need to go wider, but uh, I think I'd be more relaxed if it was wider like that. You know, chicken, you're gonna get it soon. It's like they're begging to be killed. Off. Hang on a second. I have, whoops, I'm getting stuck on stuff. Trying to get it done quickly. There you are. Yeah, you need to stop making clucky cluck noises, yeah? Give me back my little bolt. Oh dear, chickens. Um, now where were we? Uh, how close was that to running? And did I have all my boards? No, I didn't. Okay, let's have a look. Well, this should do it, I think, shouldn't it? Really? Uh, how many more we got? Oh, wow, I didn't need many more boards anyway. Alright, well, we're just about there. That's it. <laughs> Do you reckon I can drive the truck over that without having an accident? I think it's worth trying. See if we can get in and out. Um, 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 um. Guess what I just realised. <laughs> uh, don't have anywhere to pull my planks. Wait, I was going to go... <coughs> Is it worth trying to put... No, I think that's too close. I think it needs to come out a bit. Needs to go along there, I think. Alright, well let me just put down, for the sake of getting rid of a couple of these guys. A fair few of these guys. Hmm. Let me put down a few more. Just throw all my planks in here so they're out of the way. Wow, so we did have a lot of planks. There you go. Alright. I think this end doesn't feel too bad at all. It's hardly much of a bump kind of thing, but I'm not sure about the other end. Let's go grab the truck and have a quick test. Actually, what I might do is save the game <laughs> before I bring the truck around. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, which way are we going to do this? This is going to be interesting. I'll hit a tree here for sure. I really do need a reversing camera. So this is where I'd come out of the garage if I was back in, which I probably won't be, but anyway. Coming down here, there's plenty of room. So just stop here for a second. I think the three wide bridge is the better way to go. A lot more, um, what would you call it, confidence, I guess, that it's not going to fall off or anything. Okay, so it gets on that end with just a little bit of a bum. Okay, yeah, well that, that's alright coming off. So this way is perfectly okay, yeah? Oh, wow, sorry Mike, I think I'm really close to Mike. <laughs> Don't 
want to run over Mike. He's right there. Oh crap, he's going to walk across the bridge, isn't he? <laughs> Get out of the way, Mike! Yeah, I need to cut some of these trees down and put up a gate or something. Let's see what happens if I go this way. Does it just bounce over? Oh, it's as smooth as a baby's bottom. What am I talking about? Hurry up, Mike. Yeah, no, that works really well. Okay. Cool. So I reckon if I have the fence, protective fence on the right hand side here a fair way out, I reckon I can go this way into the garage. So I just put the garage next to the oil pump somewhere here. And then when I go to come out, I can just kind of come out and then just back back like that. And then I'm ready to go again. I think that's how I need to do it. And then if I'm lugging stuff in and out of the house, I'm kind of more or less just doing it from... I'll back back a bit so I'm not in the way of that. Um, really, I'm just on this side of the house, not the other side of the house. I think that's a better way of doing it. I think that'll work really well. Oh well. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think off camera I'll just finish off the bridge, so at least you can see what I've been up to. That is so much better. And then I... When I put the fence around here, I wonder if I take out a tree or two here, make it a bit wider, they'll just stay away, the trees. I don't really want them coming back where I've built the bridge and so on. Oh, I'm really happy with that. That does actually work really well. And I think I can still swim under the bridge if I want to swim between that pool of water and that pool of water getting fish. So yeah, that um, that's actually worked quite well. Alright, well... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm drink some water. All good. Uh, thank goodness there's a lot of space around the edge here, so I can do that as well. Alright, well I'm really happy with that. I'll then be able to leave this area alone, because it was just a nightmare trying to come down here on an angle and then get out. And I kind of started thinking I put these extra mineral extractors here to get the stone for the stone grinders, and yeah, it just kind of... Deer. Started thinking then, hang on, was it a bear? Um, no, I'm pretty happy with that now. I've um, got another driveway coming in on this side. I'll just finish it off off camera, make it a bit wider, and put a gate at the. Okay, Mike! Put a gate at the other end. Maybe cut a couple of trees down. Next episode, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright everyone, if you've liked this episode and you'd like to help and support the channel, then by all means, smash that like button for us. It really does help the algorithm for um, YouTube. If you want to be notified of more videos as they pop up on the channel, then by all means, subscribe. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers.